Ingenuity will open new possibilities and will spark questions for the future about what we could accomplish with an aerial explorer. Could we image areas not visible from space or that a rover couldn't reach, like shadowed craters with seasonal water flow? Could a helicopter scout ahead for rovers and help plot the most efficient course for the best science? Could we support future human missions with aerial capabilities? Now the flight itself will consist of a takeoff and then a climb to an altitude of three meters. Uh, and then we will hover in place uh, for about 30 seconds and make a turn with the helicopter while we're hovering and then come down and land again. And we have an engineering simulation uh, here that shows what that flight might look like above the airfield that we have just chosen. It has been a long journey, and everything from test programs that had failures in the early uh, days, and you can roll the video, all the way culminating in actually building a Ingenuity flight model that is flight-worthy and can go to Mars. We have done a lot of testing, everything from the mechanisms to going into our 25-foot space chamber, which simulates the atmosphere of Mars, where we did a number of flights to characterize the performance of the system, to understand how well it can control itself, and to do a whole number of maneuvers to make sure that we knew how this thing could fly here on Mars. <laughs> 